Hello everyone and welcome back to our community. If you're new here, I'm Jen. I focus on all things health, wellness, self-care, productivity, all things living in New York City. And this is part one, episode one, if you will, of my move-in vlogs. I have been living in Murray Hill for about two years in an alcove studio apartment. I'll link the apartment tour up here and down below. And I'm about to be moving in with my boyfriend from about a 500, 600 square foot studio apartment with two walk-in closets to a 387 square foot apartment. Now, not only am I downgrading and moving in with one person, but I'm also the queen of accumulating a bunch of shit. There is so much to be done before the official move-in, like this is move-in day vlog. It starts with an extreme closet clean out. So we're gonna have to stay really organized, get a lot of different piles going. So we have a pile of things that I'm going to be selling. Half of that pile will be things that I'm selling on my own on like Poshmark, maybe like nicer items. And then also mainly what I'm gonna be doing because I'd rather just have all of this off my hands and not have to bring it to the new apartment and continue to hoard. I'm going to be taking a bag of stuff that I think Buffalo will go well at Buffalo Exchange, which is kind of like a thrift shop. They pay you like 25% of the cash and it's all off your hands. They take your clothes, they give you money for them and like, it's off your hands. Then there's the pile of things that I want to bring back home to my parents' house because I want to keep it, but I don't necessarily need it with me all year round. Maybe it's summer attire and we're approaching fall and winter, so I need to bring like all my summer stuff back to Long Island that I want to keep. The rest I will pack into boxes. If that's the game plan, let's do this. Actually first, I'm gonna go chug a ton of cold brew and then we'll open the boxes. Just grabbing like one section of something in my closet. We'll divide what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, whatever, all the piles. And then once the piles get larger, I'll separate them into garbage bags. But I think I just need to start. This is the hardest part. Once I get in a groove, I'll be okay. But like the anxiety and the procrastination that's happening right now needs to stop. Start with dresses. A lot of these I feel like I don't even need to try on because like this, I have been holding on to, I've been attached to it for so long because it's so cute and I've worn it millions of times. Like I know how much use I've gotten out of it, but every time I wear it, I just feel like it's way too short and like everyone's seeing me in it. So I think it's gonna have to be a Buffalo exchange. Maybe I'll try it just one more time. Okay, this is the try on pile. Try on. This will be really cute in the winter. Let's try it. Try it. My boyfriend got me and I have to keep it. Maybe I'll move this one home. This is going home. Okay, Long Island Pile has started. This is a great piece to have. Like everyone needs a little cami, I feel. We shall keep. I guess the keep pile's here, I don't know. This I wore for New Year's Eve and I feel like I would wear it again for New Year's Eve. like, oh, I feel like I need to try this on before I make a decision, but I don't want to like keep pausing and trying things on. So I'll have like a whole try on moment in a bit so that we're like separating everything. And I realized I never showed you like the before of my closet. Here's the floor. These are extra sheets and stuff. Like I'm a mess. This is a bag of stuff I already decided I need to give away. That's a step stool with a blazer on it. A ton of shoes that I need to go through. Here's my closet. I just took out that chunk, what you just saw me going through. And here's the top, like so much to do. 
so much to do, but we're gonna get rid of, I hope, like a ton of it. The goal here is to become like a minimalist. I wanna be in my new apartment and be like, oh, I only have what I need. I know myself, I know I'm gonna have so many more clothes than I want to have, but if that means going through another round as I unpack when I move in, that's fine. Gotta do what you gotta do. Now this is the type of stuff that I feel like would sell super quick on Poshmark just from experience. These are cute, but I just know myself and they're, I'm not gonna wear them, so. Poshmark pile, oh we don't have one of those. New pile alert. These I live in, the Align legging from Lululemon. They're like buttery, they're most similar to like Beyond Yoga. Live in those, so we're keeping those. And yes, I hang up my leggings because I wear them more than I even wear jeans. And it's very annoying when they're like shoved in a drawer. I like to just have them out and ready for me. These are gonna be great for winter. I haven't been wearing them, but the Free People Movement leggings from Lulu's. I haven't been wearing them because it's hot out, but I will for sure. All right, let's make it going. update this is the whole pile of things that we're like a maybe need to have a try on sesh for including jeans really there's only one pair that I wear all the time so I want to try on all my other ones before I make a decision and then these three piles are definitely taking this pile right here is for Buffalo Exchange this is to send home to Long Island and this is to sell to Poshmark but just so you could see the progress we're almost done with this section We'll do all the sweaters and such after, and then we'll get to the shoes. And then of course the drawers, which I don't think will be as hard because I've cleaned these out pretty well recently. Oh, there's such a mess. Okay. So since we do have a few good piles going, I'm going to break down or break up, <laughs> bend up, assemble one of these boxes and start packing the clothes that I'm definitely keeping, except for the leggings, because I wear those every day. So I'm gonna like, keep a few pairs out for the next few days. But other than that, like, and they put the rest in a box. Let's do it. the style of these and they're I think they're Reformation or no they're Levi's they give such a camel toe but I'm going to keep them because I feel like in the winter when you wear like or the fall when you wear big oversized sweaters it really doesn't matter and then like you can show off the bottom yeah I feel like these are really cute in the fall with like a big oversized camel and donations this is to bring back home to Long Island like I have all my sweatshirts here it's ridiculous 
And then this little pile is to sell. So I'm gonna start packaging this stuff up and labeling it just to get it out of the way. But we're like almost through with my closet. I just have to go through shoes and then the drawers and we're good with the closet being packed. Then we have a front closet. There's no clothes or anything, but we're like done with clothes, I think within the hour, which is, whoo, thank God. hitting a wall packed up some boxes now really all that's left in that closet is the shoes and the pile of maybes that is stressing me out because I have to like try them on and stuff but maybe I'll just like go through them really quick look at me just hitting a freaking wall okay I'm gonna take like a coffee break fill this up I'm just gonna let myself drink so much coffee today and we'll get back to that okay so this is where it's getting really hard for me because I had told myself Going into this, if I have not touched it or worn it in the past six months, it's gotta go. And you think in theory, like, it just throw the shit out, just donate it, whatever, but like, it's really hard to let go of certain things. But at the end of the day, I'm, okay, I have to remind myself, if it's something that like, I'm gonna get rid of now and never think about again, then like, just get rid of it. So I think I'm gonna go with that. This is a black bodysuit. I feel like you don't get rid of that. You need one. Especially for winter and fall in the city, it's like, your jacket really becomes your outfit, so sometimes you just need like a black bodysuit or something under the big jack, under like a big fur coat or something. So we're gonna keep this. This is helpful. Thank you guys for talking this through with me. Okay. This, I think it's time to retire, but it's hard for me to let go of it because I literally just wore it a few, like a month ago. Only reason I say it's time to retire is because there's a hole on the side but my boyfriend could sew it, which is funny. I feel like I should be the one in the relationship that would do that. I'm like, you know what? It's a great vacation thing. So do I give it, do I bring it home? Okay, I'm gonna make a pile for home or here, but keeping, oh my God. The amount of piles that we have been making today. Okay, this, this is morbid, but I feel like this is a good funeral top. Again, home or here. I guess I would go home to Long Island for a funeral. That's sad, it's gonna go home though. So then I have a few shirts like this that I owned for work purposes. It's not only work, it's like a nice blouse. But like when the hell do I ever need a nice blouse? But I guess I could always wear a blouse with like a bralette and button it down. But I don't even know if I like the color, but it's also the brand Maj. So this is like the confusing pile for me. This is what the problem is. We all keep shit because we're like, oh, it has, like, it has a chance, it has potential. We're keeping it in another maybe pile. hot so I'm just doing the rest of my sports bra but so far we have a box and a half the second box is almost full I would be so happy if I only have clothes in two boxes although I still have the coat closet and shoes but like clothes clothes if I could have that in like two and a half boxes I would feel so much better about moving into a smaller space and I have to remind myself I can still get rid of stuff when I get there but here are my bags of stuff buffalo exchange donate and also bring home and then here's one box, here's the next. I still have some maybes right here and the jeans. Okay, the closet is clear except for shoes, but I think I just wanna finish out clothing, go through these drawers really quickly, then pack the shoes, and then at least just be done with all of that.
boxes of clothes and shoes, which I think is pretty good for moving. Still have to go through like the front closet with the coats and all, but that'll be a different box. And then I have three garbage bags filled with things that we are either donating, selling, or bringing home to Long Island. Here's two boxes of clothes, three huge bags of stuff that are not coming with us to the new apartment. Here's a box full of shoes. I still have some sneakers in the front that I'll handle after. I feel great, but I think I'm just feeling like mostly overwhelmed because I feel like I haven't made a dent in this apartment. So I'm excited to get rid of the same amount of crap, but like not just clothes and everywhere else in the apartment. <gasps> Mosquito, where did it go? So I'm excited to have half the amount of that I have now all around, but I'm just getting stressed because I'm like, this took me all day it feels like, and I have to do this in the kitchen, my desk area, the front closet. So moving freaking sucks. It's been a while since I've done a move, and the last time I did a move I was only one roommate, and to have an entire place to yourself to accumulate all the stuff. I just like, I think I brought two, I don't know. I don't know, but stay tuned for the rest of my journey. Moving vlogs, apartment tours, all of that in New York City. Please hit subscribe, like this video so that I know if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week. Come on.